uh, I started my career actually not as an architect, but uh, working as a designer. Since then, uh, I had the opportunity to uh, come together with uh, architects gradually, doing more uh, graphic uh, graphic work for them. And uh, during the uh, the years has gone by, uh, I've become more and more involved in the uh, in architectural scene. Uh, uh, which maybe gives me a little bit of a different insight in the way of doing architecture because I've never actually studied it in a, in a university. I then became uh, associated uh, in, uh, in, in, in France, in Paris, with uh, a group of architects uh, leaded by uh, Francoise Roche and Edouard Francois, who uh, we did uh, many uh, competitions together. Uh, this is uh, in the very early days in um, in uh, the early 90s, which was a quite an interesting moment because we were just starting to talk uh, and to work out uh, maybe ways to think about um, architecture in relationship uh, to the environment. Not in so much related to uh, ecological process, but uh, uh, the relationship to, uh, of human beings to their environment. It's quite an important factor, I think, in a studio. But uh, I think what, uh, when we're actually working together with, uh, with the young students and uh, people from different uh, walks of life, um, I just don't want to go in it from one direction. So I, I want to try to leave uh, all, the, all the doors open so each one can actually uh, fix in his own thoughts, uh, his own sensibility, uh, and to bring that through. Uh, most important goal is having fun. I think that's uh, the, 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 leading, the leading principle is to have fun and to discover yourself rather than just uh, producing um, a project, as it were. The end, the end result, I think, can't be judged uh, physically by drawings and models, even though, yes, we're asking, I'm asking them to, to do this, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. And I think that's what's uh, very, very important. The first part was actually to say, right, we're just going through a really uh, drastic uh, period in the world, uh, the COVID. And uh, so the first, uh, the first tentative was to actually say, now, we've got these barge systems, we've got sort of like shipping, shipping systems, uh, which we can actually bring into Paris and go through Paris. And with these uh, shipping systems, then maybe we can actually uh, make uh, small interventions along the Seine. Uh, depending on the, the student's choice and uh, we could actually just make a, a place to get together uh, because that's something which has been very much lacking certainly uh, last year is not being in a situation to get together and it's maybe one of the most important things in society is to create places uh, where we can have a reaction uh, between ourselves. What I uh, decided to do and that was actually talking with um, with Odile and Nicola, was uh, to try to find a location which people could actually go to, which people could actually could visit, not only uh, maybe in the beginning of the, the trimester, but uh, throughout the trimester they could actually go, refine, reorganize themselves, relook at the, uh, the place. And of course we're in Paris, so what will be a better, a better, a better tool uh, for working with uh, than the River Seine? I think what's very interesting is when this notion of process is very important for me because you can see some, in some ways the, uh, the students are actually sort of like moving forward and then suddenly falling back and re-going in, an, in another direction. And uh, finally, we can actually see there's, a, there's becoming a, a sort of link between the different projects along the center, which for me is absolutely, absolutely incredible.